Hello, my name is Jane Unterreiner and I am a registered nurse and international board certified lactation consultant at Southeast Health and I have been there since January of 1980. Hi, I am Carmen Cox. I am an RN and an internationally board certified lactation consultant at Southeast Pediatrics. The continuity of care breastfeeding starts in the hospital. After delivery, the baby is assessed by a nursery nurse and then baby goes straight to breast uh, if mom desires with the help of the lactation consultant in the hospital. Then when the baby is discharged, they come uh, to Southeast Pediatrics and become a patient of ours and I'm the lactation consultant there that helps to make sure breastfeeding is successful for the length of time mom wants it to be. What new mothers can expect uh, in their visits when they're in the hospital. On day one, we come in, we assess their education level. Our focus in the hospital for the first few days is on initiation, and that is getting the factory kicked off is like what I like to call it. So I make sure they understand this is what we're looking for in day one in regard to feeds, and stools and wets, the second day what we can expect to see, and the third day what we can expect to see so that they know that everything is going fine with their lactation because most moms, especially new moms, will concern themselves with, is the baby getting anything? Is the baby getting enough? And it is not about that in the first few days and I want them to understand that so they can relax about it and just nurse. The benefits for mom with breastfeeding are decreases in certain types of cancer. There are benefits for the baby. Nutritionally, of course, is the most important thing for the baby, but also there are some diseases that can be prevented with breastfeeding like diabetes. The benefits of breastfeeding for the family are bonding. There's bonding between mom and baby, bonding with the family all together as they work together on their breastfeeding journey. There are growth and immune properties in breast milk that we cannot put into formula. They are not the same thing. The colostrum, which is the first milk that our bodies make, is loaded with antibodies um, that help prep the gut, getting it ready for the second milk that's gonna come in. The other thing that colostrum has is a bit of a laxative effect to it, so it will jumpstart the bowel and get everything kicked off. One of the most important things I want moms to understand is at Southeast, we provide continuity of care for breastfeeding from start to finish. That starts in the hospital with the lactation consultant there. She is helpful in the beginning with initiation of breastfeeding, and she shares her information with me, with mom's permission, letting me know if there's any hurdles that we're having to follow and jump over to help her be more successful. And then when I see moms in the office, then I can see them the very first visit, help them with continuation of breastfeeding, help them see those hurdles as they come, and just really, really work to be successful in her confidence and feeding her baby. Then I'm available to moms with phone calls. I'm available, they can come in and I can work with a mom with a feeding. Um, I'm available anytime with breastfeeding, even towards the end of the breastfeeding journey, I'm available to help mom when she's ready to wean. What I think is most important is that you enjoy it. Enjoy your baby, enjoy the nursing experience. Don't worry about it. And do what you want to do with your feeding, and we will help you do that. We at Southeast Health realize how important lactation services are to you and your family. We are always by your side.